sweet viewers have actually been kind enough to ask why I haven't made as many videos recently. Uh, well, it really warmed my heart to know that you missed me and was concerned. So thank you so much for letting me know that my presence was missed. But the reason I haven't been making as many videos is because we've been working on this beautiful kitchen space. I've actually released one video so far working in my new kitchen space and a few people noticed that it was not the same place I had been working before. So um, I would love to kind of show you, give you a tour, but what may surprise you is we actually built it in a 12 by 32 foot portable shed building that we have moved out to our property. I'm pretty sure my husband just got tired of me making a mess in our kitchen and wanted me to get out as quickly as possible. But um, whatever his reasoning, I really appreciate his help in turning this shed into a fully functional kitchen, baking space, cake decorating studio. Um, I tried to put a lot of thought into the way I laid it out and organized it, the way the workflow would happen. Um, and so far, I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. If you would like to see the way I have my workflow set up, my organization, things like that, please stay tuned. And if you have any suggestions of things that may improve the space or uh, maybe something that I haven't thought about, some type of organization um, suggestion, I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below. But stay tuned if you would like a tour. So it's a little bit of a dreary, rainy summertime day in Florida, but this is what the outside of the building looks like. And we added this little front porch area and we're gonna go right through the front door. So as you can see, um, when you walk in the door, I kind of have my cleaning area, the sink, dishwasher, um, things like that over here to the left. And I wanted this to be my prep area. So um, I'm not used to using a selfie stick, so excuse me, but I'll kind of show you what I've got going on over here. Um, this is the section where I just want to be able to do everything. So I've got, you know, paddles and whisks in here. I've got all kinds of ingredients, cake mixes, a little um, appliance garage and turntable here with ingredients, lots of powdered sugar, and my sister made me some homemade vanilla, which I've been enjoying. Um, of course, I've got my mixers, I've got my flowers and stuff here, my trash can, um, and underneath here is actually going to be one of those restaurant style countertop height refrigerators that just slides right in. We're just having some problems and having it repaired right now, but it's going to be really nice to be able to have like my butter, milk, um, eggs, things like that right here where I do all my preparation. Um, and as you can see, I've got a nice big workspace. Of course, I've got my microwave that I got from Facebook Marketplace, a nice kitchen aid one at a great price. Um, also got my double ovens from Facebook Marketplace. I've never had double, double ovens before, and I feel really excited to have them now. So this is going to be my prep area, um, and things will go into the oven here. And then down here, this is going to be my cooling station. It became apparent in my old workspace that I did not have enough cooling area because when you're making a couple of wedding cakes per weekend, you just have racks upon racks upon racks laying out. And now I have plenty of room for my cooling station. And of course my um, cooling racks are stored right down here. I've got just some extra storage, some cake pop stuff, an airbrush gun, which I just got this week and I'm super excited to open up and try out. Um, right here we have these color mists, which now that I have an airbrush gun, I may not even need anymore. Um, yeah, I've also got about a million feet of um, saran wrap so that I can wrap stuff up easily and put it right into my freezer. Got my refrigerators right down here. And as you can see, we had to go with a window unit. Um, we're thinking about upgrading to one of the split ACs, I guess you call them. But for right now, the window unit seems to be keeping up. When both of the ovens are running and it's summertime in Florida, 
It's a little bit warm, but we're managing, and I know cooler weather's on the way, so I think it's gonna be just fine. These beautiful cabinets were actually given to me by a friend who was renovating her kitchen. These were incredibly sturdy, um, well-made cabinets, but they were that kind of golden oak color that was real popular in the 1990s. So I did end up refinishing them with gray paint, uh, I'll give you a little more info on that later, but I love the way they turned out and I'm so grateful to my friend Jean who passed them along to me to use. These two items actually came from the Home Depot, but they are a couple of my most favorite things that I've added to this bakery. Um, we have a workbench with all kinds of drawers and storage space. So I have room for my colors and chips, my couplers and bags, I've got all kinds of measuring utensils, rolling pins, sprinkles, and markers, and cake pop supplies. It just holds a ton of stuff. It's on wheels, so it can be movable if need be, and a great work surface. Um, we did add a few extra coats of lacquer to both of these countertops, but this one is one of my favorites because um, it's much easier to roll out fondant lower than it is higher because you can kind of put your weight into it and be a lot more effective rolling out the fondant. So I had planned on just putting a cheap, like, you know, the plastic tables that you use at, you know, church banquets and stuff like that because it was going to be the right height. Um, but I did see these tables at the Home Depot around Christmas time. And my husband knew I was in love with them because they have this crank that can lower and raise the height of the table. Um, and it's also got a couple of drawers, which I haven't actually filled up yet. So I loved the table, but I didn't want to spend the money. And of course, my husband came home and surprised me with it just a few weeks later. So I'm absolutely in love with this table, one of my favorite investments totally worth every penny when you're working on a wedding cake um, sometimes you know if you're at this height but it's a four-tier wedding cake and you're trying to work on decorating it way up here it's not easy i mean you can get a step stool there's things you can do but being able to adjust the height of the table is amazing i love this and these are both made by um husky the inventors of these probably did not think they would be in a cake decorating studio, but I'm very grateful to the people who made them because they're very useful to me. So since we started out with essentially just an empty shell of a shed building, um, it was literally just, you know, beams with no drywall or anything like that. Um, it was rafters and trusses with no ceiling. We literally had to insulate everything um, but before we did that we had to plan where we wanted the lights to go each of the appliances where we wanted all the plugs to go um, refrigerator oven sink obviously all of that had to be planned out ahead of time we did we kind of laid it all out on paper figured out how we could arrange the cabinetry to be able to use as much of it as possible and not waste any um, so yeah, then we added the insulation after the wiring was done um, and the plumbing, which was all done by my husband. Um, we added the drywall, which I kind of was the drywall and plaster expert. Um, we added the ceiling and I like the little tray ceiling um, that we ended up doing. And obviously paint, flooring, we decided to go with just durable um, vinyl flooring, kind of industrial strength flooring. Um, nothing too fancy. Everything was on a budget because um, we did not want to take out any loans or take on any debt to do this. So it all came together. I really like the flow of things. I like the fact that we we're able to utilize pretty much every cabinet that was given to us. Um, and let me tell you, refinishing cabinets is not an easy job. If you've ever done it before, you probably know what goes into it but it involves um, taking off all the hardware, the hinges, the pulls, everything, sanding down the finish so there's no more shiny finish on there. Um, and then you can buy special cabinet paint from Lowe's. That's what we did. And if anyone is curious about the color, um, I decided to go with a color my aunt and uncle had used in their kitchen that I thought was really pretty because I'm the type of person where 
It may look really pretty on a little paint chip to me, but once I get it up, it looks totally different and I feel like, what have I done? So I picked a color that I knew I would like because I had seen it in their kitchen before and it is the Lowe's Valspar Gravity color. Um, I had my cabinet paint dyed that color and the guy at Lowe's explained to me that it's a little bit misleading um, on the paints now they say you know no need for primer or paint and primer in one I think is what they say but they don't say it's still going to take you two coats so either you can do one coat of primer and one coat of finished paint or you can do two coats of this paint and primer in one um, but yeah it took two or three coats to cover up the um, you know golden oak color that was real popular in the 80s and 90s but I'm just so tickled because the quality of the cabinetry is amazing. They're super sturdy and I love the way the cabinets came out. Um, and I added my own little crystal poles. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with the way everything turned out with the cabinetry. It was important to me to use the little stained glass piece. Um, Miss Jean had that designed and I thought, well, I don't want to see that go to waste since it was obviously something that was important to her and it's beautiful and it kind of blends with my um, signature color, the kind of seafoam green teal that's in my logo and on my walls and even on my clothes. You can tell I love that color. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way everything has worked out. We actually used um, flooring, vinyl flooring planks for the backsplash. It's going to clean up super, super easy and I like the way it looks. I like the way it blends in with the countertop and the cabinet color. Um, I've been real happy with that. I think we just used some like silicone adhesive. We looked up on YouTube how to put flooring planks up on the wall as a backsplash and we ended up using some like silicone adhesive and putting a few nails here and there. But um, yeah, I'm happy with the way that looks. I'll admit I was a little concerned that 12 feet wide wouldn't be enough space um, for me to have the island like I wanted and um, of course countertop work area and of course you have to be able to open up dishwasher doors and oven doors and refrigerator doors, drawers, things like that. Um, and I'm just not one of those people who's good at visualizing what's on paper, how it's going to look in real life. Um, so honestly, until I got all of my stuff moved in here, I was skeptical, um, but my husband was right. There is plenty of room to walk around, open up the doors, work in this area, work in that area, um, plenty of pathways, and I am just really, really happy with the way it turned out. I hope you've enjoyed our time together today as much as I have, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing my new baking space. We've put a lot of hard work into this over the last year and a half, so let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you have any organizational tips or uh, any ideas maybe that I haven't thought of, go ahead and drop me a line. Until next time, happy baking! Mm -hmm.